And hi, it's Mike Ferry. Welcome back to Mike Ferry TV, the week of August 27th. Okay, we've, we're going to talk about skills until you get them. You know, it's kind of fun. At the uh, Superstar Retreat, which has now been over a month ago, on day number one, towards the end of the day, I talked about the fact that everybody keeps saying, Mike, at your age, you know, it's like I'm 150 years old, when are you going to retire? And I made a statement after lunch on day one. Here's what I said. I'm going to stop when you finally start. And the audience, half of them kind of looked at me and half started laughing. I said, let me explain. When I think you've learned what has to be done and you're doing what has to be done, I'll stop and peacefully go home and start knitting or playing chess or doing crossword puzzles and gardening. But until you start, I'm not going to stop because the next skill is one of the hardest ones for all real estate people who are not behaving as professional salespeople, but who are behaving like real estate people. Now remember, buyers and sellers want a professional salesperson who's involved in the real estate business. Real estate people want to go out and caress and groom and nurture and become friends with and have a family or likes that stupid ad that goes around. A real estate person is a wedding planner. No, no, your job is to list and to sell homes. Part of that process is pre-qualifying, knowing exactly what they have to do before you get to the house. So you've created a lead over here and you've called the lead now and said, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I'd like to see you if possible Wednesday afternoon. Would four or five be better? And they say, well, five o'clock would be just fine. And you say, great, before I come out, I've written down a number of questions I need to ask. Would you mind if I ask them now? Now, first of all, you're a salesperson. They anticipate or expect you're going to ask a lot of, say it to yourself, questions. They expect it. You're going to fulfill the need they have which is to help them sell their house by asking the questions that are appropriate to the process. So I need to ask a few questions before I come out. Question number one I want to ask, um, Mary and Bob, if what I say makes sense and on Wednesday afternoon you feel comfortable and confident that I can sell your home, are you planning to list with me when I see you Wednesday at 3 o'clock? Now there's only three answers they can give you. They can say, yes, we are. Wow, isn't that a fun answer to get? No, we're not. Uh-oh, I wonder what the problem is. Or we're not sure. Now, if they say, yes, we are, you still continue pre-qualifying. Why? Because you want to walk in as a fully prepared professional salesperson. And the more information you can glean from that seller before you walk in, the better the job you can do when you walk in. So question number one. Okay, when I see you, are you planning to list with me? And they say, we're not sure. Then I go to question number two. May I ask, are you interviewing other great agents for the job of selling your home? Well, as a matter of fact, we are. We're going to talk to Bob and Mary and Sally. Great. Now I know I have competition. Question three, where are you folks moving to? Now, you probably already know the answer, but I want to verify that they haven't changed their mind. Well, we're moving from L.A. to San Diego. Great. And how soon would you like to be in San Diego? We'd like to be there in 90 days. Well, now we got to get this home sold. Number five, what price do you want to set on your home when I see you Wednesday at 3 o'clock? They're either going to give you a price that's way too high, very common, or they're going to say, you're the real estate agent, you tell me. Well, as a professional real estate agent, I study homes and prices every day. Therefore, I know exactly what your homes should sell for. What price won't you go below? Well, we won't go below 625. Now I have a price. Okay, now that price could be close to what I'm trying to get at. It could be way too high. It's never going to be way too low. And what do you owe on the home? I find that out. So now I know they have enough money to pay a commission to take some equity and move. All I'm going to do in pre-qualifying is ask a lot of questions, which gives me the information I need to help them make a good decision. So I've written down six points regarding pre-qualifying. I want you to listen carefully. Here's point number one. Pre-qualifying will always set you apart from the competition because it takes, to a level, takes you to a level of professionalism. And remember, 95% of your competitors never pre-qualify. All right, so obvious question. Why do your competitors not pre-qualify? They don't want to hear the answers. 
if they say, are you planning to list with me when I see you, and the customer says no, they don't want to hear that. We want to know that because we want to go to question number two. Why do they not ask the questions? They don't want to find out the person doesn't have any motivation. They want to go out Wednesday and, you know, do their song and dance and spend an hour and a half and get to know. Folks, your competition doesn't do step number one, which is pre-qualify 100% of the people, 100% of the time, always. Second thought I wrote down. You're looking for sellers that have to sell versus those who want to sell. There's a big difference. This person has to sell job transfer. They've had a child. They need a bigger house. The kids have moved out. They want a smaller place. They're near retirement, whatever. They want to sell. And if I, and if I can sell it for 900,000, well, I know it's only worth 650, but if I could get 900,000, well, let's get together and see if I could help you get 900,000. What a waste of time. But see, that is an example of a real estate agent versus a real estate professional salesperson. The professional salesperson finds out they want 950 and don't have to sell. They're not going to go waste their time where the real estate agent would waste hours, days, weeks, and months. I wrote down the third thought. If you want more listings, spend more time pre-qualifying each listing prospect and less time building that relationship. I, I don't get it. We actually believe that if we can become one with them, you know, Mike, I want to walk in behind their eyes and walk down their spine. I want to feel what they feel and understand what they understand and see what they see. Wait a minute. My job is not to walk down their spine. My job is to get their home listed and get it sold so they can be in San Diego in three months. Remember, I said this to you before. We only build rapport when we don't know what to say. Building rapport is that step we take. We walk into the house. Oh, I love the house. It's so beautiful. Oh, my. Look at that artwork. Wow, look at the paint, the wallpaper. I just love, 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 love your house. And, and oh, you have a little cat. I love cats. Oh, we have a cat. Oh, you have a cat. Okay, question. What if the house is a pigsty? What if the house is awful? What if you don't even like the house? What do you say then? Geez, what a great pigsty you have. What a scrawny cat. I hate cats. Watch. Your job is to find out the motivation and help them sell their home. I wrote down a very, very important forethought for you. A pre-qualified prospect will allow you to focus at a stronger level and bring a higher level of energy to your presentation. A pre-qualified prospect will allow you to focus on a much stronger level because they know that you know and they have the objective of moving and you have the objective of helping them move. You can bring a lot of energy and excitement to somebody that you know wants to do something. It's hard to bring energy and excitement to somebody that doesn't want to do anything. I mean, how excited can you get about somebody that doesn't want to sell? I wrote down th this next point. Nothing drains our energy faster, removes our motivation to continue than going on a non-qualified presentation and appointment. We've all done it. You know, half of you that are really good do it by mistake occasionally. Half of you that are learning how to become good do it more often. If you want to really drain the motivation out of a good person like yourself, go on two or three listing presentations per month when the seller has no motivation at all. And you spend all that time preparing your pre-listing package. You put all the information together. You got your CMAs, your net sheets, your plan of action. You got all your marketing material. You go out and they go, well, we don't have to sell. Oh. Boy, we talk about zapping a good person. Then I wrote down last, it's better to lose a prospect during the pre-qualifying process than finding out they're not qualified during the presentation itself. Why? Time is the biggest asset you have. I, I remember 100 years ago, one of my mentors, Dr. Gunther Kloss, he said, Mike, let me ask you a question. At that time, I think I was like 33, 34 years old. If I could give you 10 additional years to live from the date you're going to die, and he said, and I know what day you're going to die, and I'm going to give you 10 more years to live, or I can give you $10 million cash today, what would you take? I think I was 33 I just started the company. I said, I'll take $10 million in cash. He said, fine, here it is. Then you walk out the door, you hit by a truck and die. See, what we have as an asset is our time. It's our greatest asset. 
We never know when our time is going to end. We never know when our time is going to be diminished. But we do know one thing for sure. If we pre-qualify, we're not going to waste that valuable asset we have, which is our time. I can't stress enough the value of pre-qualifying because when we start talking next week about the skill of the listing presentation, you'll see why this pre-qualifying process is so vital. I'm glad you're with me on this series. We have the listing process. We have pricing to go. We have handling objections. I'm not going to stop until you start. Are you ready to start? Because I'm not ready to stop. Let's have a great week. See you in September. Thank you.